I cannot stop thinking of our earlier discussion. You don't actually intend to go through with courting me, do you? I said I would, and I will. I believe you, yet... You don't sound like you believe me. It wasn't a challenge, my lord. You needn't do it simply because I suggested you could not. It's very simple. I care for you. <sighs> you enjoy making things complicated, don't you? I'd like to speak with you. In private. Oh? How private? There's a grove just outside of Skyhold. Meet me there. If you're certain... I am. Trust me. On aching branch do blossoms grow, the wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. <laughs> As I recall, your list was very specific. And that is the poem you chose? What's wrong with it? Carmenum di Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? They will say one of two things about me. That I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover, that it was meant to be. Or they will say I was led from the path of faith by the wiles of a madman. I don't care what they say. What do you believe? I believe you are a faithful man. I believe you are part of the Maker's plan. Beyond that, I believe only that you are capable of anything. And it frightens me. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. I love you. Here, tonight. I believe you. 